There is a, um, a song called The Good Fight, the title song, which has a really a, an epic feel on the, um, on the record. How did you work on that? Well, is you, you can tell it's very Led Zeppelin influenced, right? Mm. I mean, you definitely. I, I did a couple things and, like, yeah. A, yeah. like that kind of stuff because it's like, and those things kind of felt, I don't know, they kind of fell in place. And one thing after another, and the strings, Matt Rohde did the string arrangement, but it was pretty much, we had, both had the same ideas for it, of course. But um, he wrote that out, had the strings <coughs> double track it. And the ending of it goes to do a big epic ending yeah, where it goes, yeah. uh, It's like acoustic guitars jingle jangling, which I love that about, about guitars. Mm -hmm. You can get. You can't do that on an oboe yeah. or, or a piano or anything. <laughs> so this was just playing around with acoustic guitars, trying to get some contrary motion going. Uh, So this is just Led Zeppelin influence, and then we, the band comes in from there, and it kind of builds towards the end for the big slide solo. You know, um, I realized too because you know Jeff Buckley was a friend of mine, and we both loved. We used to talk about Led Zeppelin all the time. We both that was we were both like fusion heads at the time, and that and we both loved Led Zeppelin. And um, uh, of course, he went on to be Jeff Buckley, and I'm still living in a guest house in Laurel Canyon. <laughs> No, I'm kidding. Uh, but you're alive. But I'm alive. Yeah, yeah. Well, you know. No, but he was awesome. And But we both had real similar tastes in that we liked all the layers of stuff. And I can hear it in his music. I was listening to some of his stuff the other day, and there's lots of like layers of guitars with reverb and ambiance in the background. You know, that's really... Um, I always have that in my... And that particular song just kind of came out that way. And we had the... um. Yeah.